oh boy, uh, kilometers. I'll, I'll put it on the screen right now for you. So I went, it looks like I went 630. Don't you worry, YouTube family. Don't, good morning, by the way, cheers. Don't you worry. I'm gonna be getting a haircut before the Pikes Peak is sent. Get a lot of comments about how my hair is getting a little crazy, a little too long. And uh, basically, two weeks ago, I let you all know, you must not have seen it, that uh, for those that commented, that I always get a, a haircut before peak race. I actually like the look of long hair, but I get a haircut for temperature control. I, I, I feel much uh, cooler, especially in these hot summer months, when I have shorter hair. So don't worry, it's coming. I'm gonna get it on Thursday of this, uh, so uh, tomorrow when you're watching this, uh, no, yeah, today when you're watching this. So anyway, it's coming, rolling out to my run, and it's finally the temperatures are cooler today. So I'm gonna go get my six mile 10K run in. I'll explain what I'm doing at the location. Let's go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> That's it, folks. Oh, man. All right. Six miles. The goal was 645 per mile. A little more up-tempo today in order to make sure the legs are not going to fall asleep in this last week of the taper. So that was the goal today. Ranged everywhere from 636 to 625. Spot on, right where I wanted to be, basically. Uh, and just going by feel, listening to the turnover, listening to the legs. Uh, and now, snap, snap, snappy. Gonna do my strides and my form drills just to keep those legs moving, because again, the legs are freshening up, but don't want to go to sleep either. So, all right, let's do this. <laughs> Rolling out in the carport, getting the legs nice and loose, and I have to give a little tip of the day. You know, it's kind of becoming a daily occurrence. I love watching running documentaries, and not the ones with ridiculously high production uh, quality, meaning really cinematic shots and perfect music and all that. Like, that's fine to, to pursue, but what I'm really concerned about is the story and the people within the story. And so, gotta give a shout out to Fred LeBeau, just type it into YouTube. Actually, I'll try and remember to link to it upper right hand corner. It's just an, it's just, it's about an hour and I think 15 minutes and it talks about the New York City Marathon, the founding of the marathon and how really Fred LeBeau was the founder, was the, is the godfather of big city marathons around the world because he was able to pull off, he was able to shut down the major bridges in, in Manha between Manhattan and Brooklyn and the Bronx for a running event. So anyway, I just love trailblazers within our sport and Fred LeBeau, uh, it definitely was one of those trailblazers. So, uh, and I won't give away the whole story. You just gotta go check it out. So I'm doing that to help pass the time as I stretch and roll out here into carport. Let's just see here. Uh, this is an item, yes, for the Pikes Peak Ascent. A little item, I do believe, but a critical one. Uh, well, I'll just open it up for you guys. All right, here we go. Let's see here. Okay, whoa, there it is. Oh yeah, okay, yes. Two items actually, I forgot. Um, so, there it is, Squirrel's Nut Butter 
anti-chafing cream. You better believe it. I actually ran out of my old kind. And so I got this squirrel's nut butter right there. And yes, it is down below. And then uh, this halo headband. Remember my, actually, let me go grab my old one. Hold on. All right, so here's my old halo headband that uh, it basically wore out. So the, why I love halo headbands is that there's a rubber, there's a piece of rubber right along the, the, the edge of the headband to wick away the sweat from your eyes. So let's open up this new one here. Uh, there we go. So, see, there it is. So there's that, there's that yellow strip there of rubber. It's a piece of rubber that basically helps the sweat wick away from your eyes so it goes you know off to the side here but i i like the thick halo headband for training but for racing i decided to go with the thin version so this is exciting so cool and i love white again just kind of getting back to temperature control just a nice cool color actually should we put it on should we put it on make sure it fits here uh hold on oh boy there we go oh yeah Perfect. So this is what I'm going to wear on Saturday to keep that sweat from dripping down into the eyeballs. Oh, we are ready to go now. We are ready to go now. And away we go. All right. A box just arrived from UPS. Thank you, UPS, for delivering that. I will open that up in a minute. I miss, I must say, I missed the running shoe reviews and first impression videos. Oh, by the way, Big lightning storm outside. If you hear thunder, that's what's going on. I just heard, I just saw a flash out of the corner of my eye, but we're, I think we're safe here in the studio. Um, okay, what was I gonna say? There's the thunder. Uh, oh yeah, I am going to call, before I open up that box, I need to figure out how to turn off the heart rate monitor on my Sun 2 watch. As many of you know, I'm just not a heart rate monitor trainer. That's not how I train, and a lot of you, Oh, hold on. Please select the Suto product your questions refer to. Okay, so. Suto Spartan or Suto 3 Fitness. Please. Be right back. Be right back. While we wait for Sun 2 reps to uh, come help me out, basically the, the Epsom salt that you saw earlier in the vlog, that is a, I don't even know what to call it, like a mineral crystal that you put into your bathtub, and it basically helps your muscles relax. So I take Epsom salt baths quite a bit, especially in the winter time when it's freezing out and you're doing high volume and you just want your legs to relax. So that's what I was doing in there. Just gotta wait, just gotta wait this out. Well, as we wait, shall we open up the box? So like I said, I miss our first impression videos. They will be coming back right after the Pikes Peak Ascent. Uh, I just need a little bit of downtime leading into this race. So let's see what these bad boys are from Running Warehouse. Oh, here we, here we go. I can't even see the box. Can you see the box? What is it? What is it? Um, oh, Hoka in the house. Uh, these are, oh yes. Yes, a lot of you have been asking about these. Oh, let's open it up. Boom, shakalaka. Hold on, there goes one. The Speed Goat, Hoka Speed Goat 3 in the house. Look at that color, I love it. So another trail shoe to test out for all of you. Um, I must say, I must say like the Mafate, I'm not sure it's gonna make it to 50 miles for me. I'm not giving up on it, but I'm very excited about the Speed Go. Uh, this, this was actually my first trail shoe from Hoka, the Speed Go 1, the original. So very exciting. Stay tuned for first impressions of the Hoka Speed Go 3. Oh, good day, good day. All right, so I'm about to be disconnected from Sun 2. Uh, I was on hold for about eight minutes. Anyway, I will keep you updated on the heart rate uh, from this watch. I don't train by heart rate. I think everyone is correct on Strava when you're posting that my heart rate is through the roof because it's connected to my cadence. I don't know how to change that. I frankly don't have time to figure that out, especially right now before the race. Um, and I don't even use heart rate. Um, and I probably wouldn't trust a wrist heart rate monitor. You know, if I were to be a serious heart rate trainer, I would definitely buy the chest strap. I don't know what other technology is out there. I run by feel. 
and that is that and pace you know feel and pace um so i'm trying to figure out how to turn the heart rate monitoring off of the sun 25 that's what i'm up to there and yes keyword is asleep because i don't want my legs to fall asleep in these last couple days before the race so that's what the run was about today not in these shoes i forgot to switch them out um and the question of the day and i haven't asked this question i think for seven or eight months and the reason i asked this question seven or eight months ago and it doesn't really have anything to do with running per se more the vlog i was trying to figure out when should i schedule the daily vlog posting meaning what time of the day and after listening to all of you i decided on 5 a.m mountain time which is 7 a.m on the east coast 4 a.m on the west coast it's about lunchtime in europe it's about 5 p.m approximately on the other well on the other side of the world of course um so the question of the day what time of the day do you most often watch the daily vlog all right what is and if you have a reason why that would be amazing as well it just helps me listen to your needs and plan for the future trust me i'm not planning to change the 5 a.m time i love it i think it's i think a lot of people have gotten used to that time and frankly i think it's perfect because of everybody waking up in the morning everyone at lunchtime on in europe and then maybe everyone getting off of work on the other side of the world if you will all right so that's the question today thanks for being here a couple old vlogs for you that have nothing to do with running on either side of the screen right now just some old family vlogs that are good to watch every now and then thanks for being here thanks for watching i love you guys one day closer seek beauty work hard and love each other see you tomorrow